Brian Taylor with Highway RV in Lake Alfred, Florida, and today I want to take you on a quick tour of this uh, 2016 Coachman Catalina 263 RLS Summer Edition. I know that's a mouthful, but let's go ahead onto the inside of the coach and we'll get started. Okay, so we're going to start the tour of this 2016 Coachman Catalina uh, 263 RLS here on the inside. Uh, what I'm going to do today is take you on a tour of the floor plan and kind of show you how the uh, how the space uh, looks and feels, and then also. Um, kind of show you some of the features that the coach has and then we're going to go to the outside of the trailer. So uh, starting here on the inside, uh, this is a 263 RLS. That is a 26 foot box. In other words, the actual trailer living area is 26 feet long. From the hitch to the bumper is 29 foot 10 inches long and this coach weighs just a shade over 6,000 pounds empty, 6,052 pounds. This has always been a popular floor plan, not only for Catalina, for, but for a lot of other manufacturers. It's the rear lounge floor plan, thus the RL uh, in the, um, in the uh, model number. And uh, it's been around for a long time. This one has a couple of twists on that floor plan, but what people like about it, you've got this rear lounge area. It's got extra seating compared to some of your stand floor plans. This particular one we've got two uh, armchairs here with kind of a coffee table or end table between that. You've got your a large window uh, back here. You see just how big that window is and how much light that will let come in. Um, so you've got that window right there. You've got another window over here to let, let, let lots of light in. Then you come over here to the uh, sofa area and you got more windows. I mean, we've got just in this living area one, two, three, four, five, six, seven windows. So lots of light and a very comfortable area to hang out back here. Plus, you're going to be able to sit in your chair, stare directly at the television. It's a really comfortable way to watch television. And it's also uh, where the television is located in this model. It's very convenient whether you're cooking, whether you're eating at the dinette, or whether you're in the lounge. So this has been our number one selling uh, non-bunkhouse floor, uh, floor plan. The 263 RLS we've sold uh, the moment that they've come on the lot, I actually sold one before we were, <laughs> right as we were becoming a dealer. I never even got it here to the lot. I've had other ones that have sold before they got here. It's just been a really good seller. So uh, this particular one is is uh, appointed in the fawn color scheme. So you see that we've got this really pretty tans and creams and uh, kind of an almost an, an olivey colored um, earth tone. It's not green, but it's a uh, it's an earth tone kind of a tweed fabric. We've got beige carpeting, really nice uh, window treatments. We've got this nice textured black glass insert in our in our cabinetry. And one of the things I like to point out in the Catalinas is the cabinetry. We've got not only solid uh, wood doors, but the styles of the cabinets are made out of something called lumber core. So they're not press board all the way through. It's going to hold up better over time because uh, you've got a natural wood core to those uh, styles and they're going to hold up better. Um, our flooring is primarily uh, Congolium vinyl flooring. There is some carpeting in this model coming down the side here and your slide outs uh, are carpeted. Coming over to the kitchen, we've got a big double bowl sink with the sink covers. Got a window right here by the uh, sink to let light in. You've got a high rise nickel finish uh, faucet for the kitchen. You've got nice big drawers above the sink. You've got a bank of three drawers here. You've got a nice uh, bunch of storage under here for larger items, pots and pans, things like that. Coming on over here, we've got a three burner cooktop with an LP gas oven with a stainless front. We also have a stainless front on our range hood and our microwave. So it's all stainless appliances. That's part of the summer package that this is brought in with. The summer package has a lot of extras included uh, at no extra cost. So uh, that's part of the summer package is the stainless appliances. Right here we got our two uh, door Norcold refrigerator that will run on LP gas or electric. Coming over here we've got our 32 inch flat screen and we've got a uh, audio video system here. This will play CDs and AM FM as well as a DVD player and of course you've got your aux in jack so you can use your iPod and stuff like that. Uh, it's also got a USB input. 
So uh, you can use, you can send that audio signal both to the outdoor marine grade speakers and to the indoor speakers. So uh, that's kind of nice. Got a great high definition picture on that. Coming over here to our din dinette, we have a booth dinette. Uh, this will make into sleeping. I didn't mention when we were back here, but our sofa is a jackknife style sofa. So this coach will sleep two uh, in the master bedroom, one to two here, one adult, two children, and the same thing with the jackknife, one adult or two children. Uh, this is also the countertop is the same material, or the, the dining table is the same material as the countertops. This is thermofoil. That is a, I think, a Coachman exclusive. It's a very good quality product, uh, like a solid surface type countertop. There's no seams in this. It won't get wet. It won't swell up like a laminate countertop will. Uh, we got more storage below and above the entertainment center. Uh, right above the cameraman is the air conditioner. We have upgraded the air conditioner on this model to a 15,000 BTU. Uh, we're here in Florida. It gets a little bit warm down here, so we go ahead and upgrade the air conditioners on just about every one of our units. Uh, coming back here to the bathroom, we have our uh, toilet over here uh, with a huge kind of linen closet back behind that. Big glass enclosed corner shower right here. You can see with a skylight above, so even tall folks can get in here no problem at all. I'll go ahead and step in here. I'm about 5'10", 5 5'11", 5 and I've got, you know, probably 8, 10 inches, I'm guessing, above my head. So plenty of room in here, lots of elbow room, elbow room also. Um, and if, I'll go ahead and let the cameraman go on through there. And back here we've got our sink. We've got our mirrored medicine cabinet right here. And below is our sink with more storage below. Again, more of the Congolian uh, vinyl flooring back here. And then we'll end up our interior part of the tour here on, in, the, in the stateroom, the master room, I should say. This has got the queen bed. Um, this has actually got a foam mattress as opposed to an inner spring. The cheap inner spring mattresses that a lot of manufacturers use are virtually not even able to sleep on them. This has got a nice firm feel to it it's actually going to give you some port support and be comfortable. We've got mirrored, gla or mirrored uh, doors on our hanging storage here and hanging storage over on the other side of the bed. Got end tables on either side of the bed and you've got full enclosed storage above the bed. One of the things that a lot of manufacturers are doing lately to save money is they'll come in here and just have this be a shelf and then when you have your under bed storage like this, uh, you see, we don't have to hold this one up. We've got the gas struts. A lot of manufacturers will delete those gas struts and uh, you, you just to save you know, $20, $20 or so. And you've got to hold that up when you're, trying to get into the, um, when you're trying to get into your storage area. And the last thing I want to point out that's a little twist on the RL floor plan is this does have a second entry door directly behind the cameraman. I'll show you that door when we're on the outside of the tour. But this way you can enter the coach in the rear of the coach and in the front of the coach. That's important because with a rear lounge coach, there are times when at your campground, you may have that back door off of your camping pad and this front door is an alternative. So you're almost guaranteed that no matter what site you're at, if you have a patio outside or a, a paved pad, you're gonna have one of those two doors fall on that paved pad. So that's really important when you're looking at a rear lounge coach, no matter whether that's a uh, uh, a fifth wheel or a travel trailer or whatever you're looking at. Having another door is, is really nice. So that's pretty much the inside of the coach. Let's go ahead and go to the outside. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue our tour here on the outside of this uh, 2016 Coachman Catalina 263 RLS. Right here at the front, uh, we're going to start with a power tongue jack. Uh, that's part of that summer edition that we were talking about. I also ordered this in on every one of our coaches. Uh, the power tongue jack and the power awning are a big time saver and a real nice convenience feature. So there's no cranking on this. You just touch a button and it's going to go up and down so you can hitch up easier. We come with 20 pound. Uh, LP gas tanks. Uh, we like the 20 pounders because they're really easy to go swap out at the Blue Rhino over at, at Walmart or Home Depot or wherever you're at. You don't have to find a place to refill them. You can always do a swap out. The front of the Catalinas are really nice because we've got the stick and tin construction which I'll tell you a little bit more about in a minute but you've got this nice radius front end which is it gives it a lot better aerodynamics. You've got the, the, the charcoal diamond plate below 
uh, and you've got this nice radius aluminum front which really makes it look sleek and then you come around to the side and you've got the the stick and, stick and tin construction which we like a whole lot you've got wood frame with aluminum siding we like this because it won't delaminate and it's very easy to repair if you ever have a problem if I went and you know took a hammer to this right now it's relatively easy compared to fiberglass to take this panel off and put a new panel in and it's much easier to work with uh, in here we've got storage it's full pass-through storage right there. Coming on back from that, we've got that front bedroom door that I was telling you about. This is the front door uh, for, the, for the 263 RLS, so you can enter right into the bedroom right there. Coming on back from that, you can see we got our patio awning stretches from here to the back. And this is a power awning, so there's no need to do any cranking or pulling with the, with the rods or any of that type of stuff. Just touch a button, it's going to come out for you. It's also got LED strip lighting running underneath the, uh, or where the awning anchors to the side of the coach. So you got nice ambient lighting in the evening. We got our two exterior marine grade speakers. This is the back side of our refrigerator. Here's our hot water heater. One thing that's nice about this, it's not only LP gas, but you have a little switch here. It is electric also. So you've got gas and electric hot water. Right here's your fresh water fill. <clears throat> Little thing that people never really think much about, but we have a, a actual metal uh, wheel well uh, openings here. These are not molded plastic. Most manufacturers use molded plastic. You have a flat tire hit road debris or just over time they get brittle and crumble and you're replacing these. But this metal is going to be here for a long time. Here's our rear entry. Uh, goes right back into the rear lounge where we started the interior part of our tour. Coming on back to the back, you see we got, we've got stabilizer jacks all the way around, four manual stabilizer jacks. We got a spare tire back here. We include a spare tire on all of ours. We never delete that. Uh, it's a safety feature in our opinion and every coach should come standard with that. You're going to wish you had it if you don't have it. Uh, when you need it, you're going to be glad it was there. We also are pre-wired for a Furion backup camera. You can have a wireless backup camera system installed in this. It's very, very simple. It's user installable or we can do it for you here at Highway RV. But uh, just push a button, it syncs up with the monitor. You can put that in your tow vehicle so when you're backing up, you're going to be able to see exactly what's going on behind you just like in a motorhome. We're going to kind of end our tour up on this side of the coach. You can see we got this big super slide right here. It's really deep and stretches all the way up here. That housed our sofa and our dinette. And then just forward of that, we got our city water connection, our cable and satellite connection, our exterior shower, and uh, the other side of that pass-through storage bin. So again, this is the 263, it's a 2016 model, Coachman Catalina. 263 RLS, and this particular model is the summer edition. Um, but if you're interested in the coach, please give us a call at Highway RV. Our number is 863-956-1036. My name is Brian, but whoever answers the phone will be able to help you out. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. I hope it's been helpful for you. You have a great day, and God bless.